In this video, I am going to show you how to put together a DIY fidget spinner. So I actually cut this out on my Cricut. I have all of the pieces that I need here. And I will put the design, the Cricut design for that in the comments or in the description so that you can see it. And what I'm doing here is I'm testing out what it's going to look like if it's on poster board. For this one, it's actually really sturdy because I did it on, this is a cardboard box that I had, and I cut that pieces, pe those pieces out from that. But I'm going to test out if poster board is sturdy enough, although I have this feeling that it might not be sturdy enough. But we will find out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is glue these pennies on. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue. So once you have your first three pennies on, then, well, let's see, I do have sticker a sticker for this. So I'm going to just do my best to line this up and actually... I think the best thing to do here is to use transfer paper and line it up as nicely as you possibly can. So with the lines, I try and get as, as straight as possible and then have it go through that center hole. I have a feeling maybe I didn't line the holes up there very nicely but that's okay I can take my toothpick and make sure that the hole is big enough so your hole the sticker and the poster board should line up so that now if I test this this, sh this should spin freely okay now it's not like a traditional fidget spinner where you have the ball bearings and you have that nice spin so we're gonna have to make sure that when we put these pieces in there's a gap so now I'm going to make sure that I cut these pieces at the right size so I'll, this should fit pretty snugly on here because we are going to take a glue gun and glue those pieces together so let me just cut the point off of this so I have one side Okay, now when I glue this on right here, I'm going to get this other circular piece ready so that I can cover it. So I'll set it down and then be a little bit generous with the glue. You want to make sure that this sticks and I'm going to wait just a little bit for it to dry a little bit, but not all the way so that I can put these two pieces together. And I want to make sure that it does stay because this needs to stick to the toothpick. Okay. There we go. And then I will thread this through. And then we want this to spin freely. And then we want to leave a little bit of a gap here. So I'm gonna actually mark with the top of my scissors where I wanna cut this. I'm gonna cut it. If I leave a little bit of a gap, okay, mark with my scissors and then go in and then cut okay then that should be enough so that i can get the piece with the hole let me just make sure that this is going to fit through okay all right So, I'm 
make sure that it, it's going to spin nicely. I maybe didn't cut off enough. I'm going to just cut off just a little bit more. Be careful that you don't cut yourself. Okay, there you go. I still have a gap, but I think that I can still do my piece of glue here. There's my glue gun. And if you just want to do that glue dot and not put it, put this blank circle over, you can. I think for holding purposes, I like having this on there, but sometimes it makes the toothpick not stick very well. So let's see. There we go. And then that should dry soon. And then you should be able to spin it freely. Here, let me hold it this way. And then you have your fidget spinner. Now in the beginning of the video, I told you that this one is made out of poster board. It's a lot thinner, a little bit more flimsy. But actually, now that I'm spinning it, it works actually pretty nicely. It is nice to have the sturdier, slightly thicker piece of cardboard. Um, it feels a little bit heavier and a little bit better, but I think that this poster board actually does just fine as a fidget spinner. So go ahead and grab whatever types of materials you have access to and try it out yourself. Good luck and have fun.